All right, boys, 2024 will be the year the Dodge Durango SRT gets the chopping block. Let's get into it. All right, boys, what is going on? It is your boy Javi back with another tech sit down talk about cars, everything. We're talking about where the brands are going, what are we doing, what's coming in, what's coming out, what's getting the chopping block and the hot topic that we've been talking about for a while now is all these muscle cars going into electric, which to me is ridiculous. It is literally killing the hot rod era, the muscle car era, it's ridiculously killing it, going electric. Not a lot of people wanna do this, not a lot of people wanna go electric, but yet these companies are killing these motors and forcing you that if you want this vehicle, it's gonna be electric. Now, they're not doing what Ford is doing where they're offering you the Mustang Shelby, where they're offering you the Mustang GT, the Dark Horse, and then if you wanna go electric, you got the Mustang Mach-E or the E, whatever that's called, that's available too. Why not give us V8 raw power 6.2 Hemi liter. And then if you want to go electric, you also have the option of going electric. No, these companies are not doing that for us. So 2024 will be no different for the Dodge Durango SRT 6.2 liter Hemi. It's going into the shopping block and this will be the last year of that motor and that vehicle and for that SRT lineup. So let's get into some pictures. Let's look at them. Let's talk about some pros and cons. And I want you to guys to leave me a comment below. What do you guys think that why, you know, we obviously know why Dodge is doing this. We obviously know why Chevrolet killed the Camaro and everything else, but leave me your comment. What do you think about this? And let's get into the video. Dodge Durango 2024 officially in the chopping block. This will be the last year of the Hemi in that vehicle. All right, so let's talk about some of the pros and cons of this new Dodge Durango 2024. Why is hitting the chopping block? And what are you expected to pay for this vehicle being the last of its kind pretty much, you know, with this Hemi 6.2 liter going down the chopping block for this year. It's uh, it's it's not a it's not a cheap car. I can tell you that right now. There will be a limited run of hundred of, of a thousand examples, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, and I don't know if I probably gonna murder the name. It's called the Alchemy uh, Colorway or Alchemy Option. It is a limited of a thousand uh, runs or a thousand examples of that for being the last year. So let's get into it. Let's talk about the price on this vehicle. So base model for the Dodge Durango SRT, you're looking at $97,000. That is a $100,000 car, $100,000 Dodge Durango, with a 6.2 Hemi, and that's where you're getting to it. It it will go over a hundred thousand dollars. We obviously been doing this, our homework here uh, with Motor Trend and reading up and everything else. It, it's obviously going to go over a hundred thousand dollars. There are packages that will push the premium packages. Those go over eleven thousand dollars. So all in all, with taxes and everything, dealer fees and everything, you could come out the door paying for a Dodge Durango SRT you're looking at you're, you're you could come out the door paying at least 112 to 115 easily depending on the dealer and where do you go to get this vehicle so some of the pros and some of the cons for this vehicle so one of the cons we obviously see that is is an expensive vehicle being the last of its kind srt going to die in 2024 because dodge decided that the srt dodge durango will no longer cease to exist for 2025 the dodge durango will be here it will be on a V6 twin turbo and obviously electric, but not the SRT. So one of the cons is pricey. One of the other cons is that it's dying. And when we read up on the test that was done by Motor Trend, it could use more of a brake feel. The brake seems to be a little bit of a weak point 
on that SRT Dodge Durango. Some of the pros that we get, 6.2 liter Hemi, rowdy exhaust note, great vehicle, because remember with this vehicle, we could tow a camper, we could tow jet skis, we could tow boats, and we're still with that 6.2 liter a Hemi V8 that's very comfortable and it's a daily driver packing a hell of a punch. So one of the things that Dodge is doing for the 2025 Dodge Durango that I mentioned was is going twin turbo V6 and is also going electric. Here we go again with this electric stuff. I have no idea why these companies just can't get enough of this electric. You offer an electric lineup, whoever wants to buy the electric lineup, you have that option, but give us the option of the V8, give us the option of still staying with the Hemi, which is a very successful, very great motor that everyone still uses to this day. Challenger, <clears throat> Challenger Hemi, Challenger Demon, the Skag Pack, the Charger, everybody love that. You go out driving and you see a bunch of those in the streets, but Dodge has decided that the Hemi motor will no longer be here. So this is what pisses me off to say the least. You got companies that are pushing you down this electric option down your throat, but you're not giving us other options. So if you want to give us a Charger Electric, that's fine. If you want to give us a Challenger Electric, that's fine. If you even want to give us a Dodge Durango, whatever it is you want to give us electric, that is fine. But give us the option of that if we don't like that, if we don't mess around with that certain agenda or that certain path of going electric, we want to have our V8. It's obviously not happening and 2024 will be the end of the Dodge SRT Durango. Let's get into some pictures. Let's look at the interior. All right, when we're looking at this picture in this option, obviously we see the black with the brown leather automatic. We see all the options that it brings and it, we obviously see a big in-dash right in the front, touchscreen of course, brake pedals and gas pedals. They're obviously race pedals. They obviously see the, the titanium look, that race look there that looks pretty cool. Um, when it comes to the Dodge Durango, you still get that uh, you still get that uh, SUV feel. You get, you still get that comfortability feel. But obviously, when you put the pedal down, you're flying through the roof. Let's look at the front end of the vehicle. So we obviously see your regular LED. We obviously see the grill here with the SRT, and we obviously see the parking sensors that comes with it. In this options, you get the stripes, the racing stripes, which is black. You also see that emblem there with the with the cat, that mean cat for the demon or Dodge officially, which obviously to me is very, it's very sad that companies are doing this. The, uh, there's obviously a market for people who love the V8, who love that grand power of V8, and they're just kind of pushing you to electric, which essentially it's gonna lose money for the brand. Wait until you guys hear 2025, what Ford has in store for the Mustang and their racing program and everything else. We obviously see big brake kits in the front, big emblem there with the SRT, the wheels, and everything else that comes with this vehicle. It just screams out power, it screams out racing, it screams out power. At the same time, it says, I'm very comfortable. You can daily drive me all the time. All right, so as for the motor, we have a 6.2 liter Hemi, 16, over, 16 valve overhead cam, Supercharged port injected, pushing out 710 horsepower with 645 feet pounds of torque. A speed automatic transmission, 5,000, just a little bit over 5,000 pounds on this vehicle. We're doing a little bit of homework in Motor Trend. We always read, shout out to Motor Trend for their great articles. Zero to 60 in 3.4 in a quarter mile in 11.7. A little bit of tweak, a little bit of tuning. You're in the tens like this. As for EPA CD miles, you're looking at around 12, 17, and 13 miles per gallon. So 12 city, 17 on the highway, and from the combination of fuel economy is around 13, uh, uh, give or take. So starting base price is $97,000. 
tested price for the motor trend and what we saw on video was 111 with dealer fees taxes and everything you're pretty much close to 120 thousand dollars for a dodge durango supercharged with 710 horsepower in your opinion does this make it a supercar does this land in the class of supercars? Is this competing with Corvettes? Is this competing with Porsche and a bunch of supercars out there? Let me know. Let me know on the comments below. So once again, let me know also on the comments. What do you think? Why companies are doing this? Why companies are ditching the V8? And when I mean companies, we're talking about Chevrolet, Dodge, because Ford is definitely not doing that. So give me a comment. Give me an opinion. Sorry. Give me an opinion. Leave me a comment. What do you think? why dodge is doing this why dodge is not giving you the option that ford is giving you mopar guys must be really really pissed that dodge is doing this but anyways i'll see you guys on the next one uh tune in and subscribe your boy is out and leave a thumbs up